discussing what it takes to be a truly hardcore game, and I think that it's a title like Little Acorns. Little Acorns for the iPhone, and you really liked this game. What's so good about Little Acorns? Well, the good thing is it, it freaking works, which is a step up from a lot of platformers on the, the App Store. We have to use the touch screen and it just feels clunky. This one plays really well. Well, I've noticed that when developers use the touch screen for platformers, if they spread out the buttons and just have you move left and right on one side of the screen and up and down or do other action things on the other side of the screen, that it actually plays. Yeah, and that's exactly what this one does. You have left and right on the bottom left, uh, and you just slide your thumb back and forth, never any problems, and you jump on the right. So aside from gameplay mechanics that actually work, what else makes Little Acorns worth looking into? Well, it's just so charming. It's the cutest little game. You <laughs> use the word charming. It's, I, Mark, it charms me. I'm a fan of, of small mammals. <laughs> you know, as a large mammal, I, I sympathize with them. What do you do in Little Acorns? Oh, you collect your squirrel, and, and you're running around, and you're collecting all this food because, you know, they have to hibernate. So you gotta you platform and you collect all these these nuts that you're gonna feed your family over the winter. And that's, that's the premise of the game, is you're a squirrel, and you're collecting nuts to hibernate for the winter. Yeah, and you can also collect fruit. Uh, that's where the game gets a little risk-reward. After you collect all the acorns in the level, you unlock all this fruit, and if you still have time left and, and you're daring enough, you run, collect the fruit, get bonuses. Ooh, that sounds like Kangaroo from Atari. What's it? What's that? Yeah, you're gonna have to take my was, word on that one. I was gonna make an Atari joke, but <laughs> we've been there. Don't go there, Derek. <laughs> Another thing that you mentioned liking about Little Acorns is how smoothly the game plays on the iPhone. Yeah, it runs at 60 frames, it's fast and smooth, you know, it's it plays like, imagine this, Mark, a real video game. Well, I, you know, there are a lot of good real video games out there in the app store. I don't, the, I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> for, for the Android, but sometimes you do have to uh, <laughs> look for them. And take our word for it, if we tell you the controls are good in a game, they, they are, because frankly they don't all play well with a touch screen, but I do like to see it when they put left and right on one side and other buttons on the other side. If you can't have a real D-pad, then that's what you do. Yeah, you need a separation of button and button. Well, there you go. Little Acorns, which is, uh, I think, a tough-sounding title if you're, you know, talking to people like, What are you playing? Dude, I'm playing Little Acorns. Well, you know what you tell them. I may be playing Little Acorns, but it takes big nuts to play Little Acorns. Because, see, acorns are a variety of nut size. Little Acorns for the iPhone. Since I can't top that, I'm just going to sit here and drink my coffee until you all... Stop watching and move along and watch something else. Can I go? Yeah, you can go. <laughs>